here, welcome to my channel, and today I'm going to do a dupe or don't video on the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette as opposed to the amazing I Heart uh, Makeup I Heart Chocolate Palette. So um, I had seen a few of these reviews and I was really fascinated. Uh, I Heart Makeup is um, kind of a sister brand to Makeup Revolution and they all fall under the category of Tam Beauty from the UK. And so I decided to go on the website and check out the, the, the products that they have. Um, Makeup Revolution in Canada, you, we don't have Ulta, but you can get Makeup Revolution at uh, London Drugs. But the prices are pretty expensive, so I went and looked at the website, and the prices were affordable. I think the uh, shipping was 12 or 13 dollars so if you buy quite a few items it's actually way cheaper than buying in store so i decided to go ahead and get this palette and i will show you what it looks like this is the palette and it has an amazing mirror in it uh so yeah i wanted to um do a comparison video on this uh, and the, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Now, uh, I had never bought the Chocolate Bar Palette simply because, um, honestly, this white chocolate color was too dark for me. And so out of all the palettes, out of all the Too Faced palettes, I just, uh, I decided to pass on that one. But my sister had it, so I borrowed hers so that I could do this comparison, yay! So, uh, let's get started. Now, as far as packaging is concerned, they're pretty cute, um, although Too Faced, the, their package is sturdy, it's so darling. Uh, the, you know, it's just really nice. Like it's, it's a luxury packaging. Whereas this is more, you know, it's, it's a little cheaper looking, uh, like this is still cute, but it's, it's not quite the same. Um, the, the shadows are nice, but they're not, uh, like the names aren't written on it. You get a sheet with the names. Uh, the mirror in this one is better. Uh, but as far as packaging is concerned, Too Faced wins that one. Um, now, Too Faced also has the most uh, amazing smell. It smells like chocolate or cocoa. And so if you are a fan of that smell, this palette is so wonderful. Like I just, I love Too Faced. I, I, I'm very loyal to Too Faced. This is a little bit painful because I am so loyal to them. But um, the I Heart Makeup Palette, it has a slight vanilla scent, but it's very, very, very slight. So if you're sensitive to scents, uh, this one is a good option for you. Um, as far as originality, obviously it goes to Too Faced because these guys are definitely shamefully or shamelessly, yeah, shamelessly just knocking this thing off uh, to be similar to this. Okay, so as far as price is concerned, the uh, Too Faced in Canada, uh, chocolate bar is $59. This Canadian is $13.10. So, um, yeah, as far as a budget-friendly option, this is excellent. Excellent! So, um, let's get into quality. Um, as far as quality is concerned, I looked at um, the ingredient deck on I Heart Makeup One as opposed to Too Faced, and my first thought was, well, you know, this one, this one's more affordable, but uh, the chocolate bar has better ingredients. But as it turns out, that's not really the case. So uh, the first two ingredients on both these palettes are mica and talc. So if you are sensitive to those things, then that might be an issue. The I Heart palette has a lot more demythicone, and then some of the ingredients are similar, some of them are different. But overall, uh, I would say that not one is above the other as far as quality of ingredients. In the Too Faced one, Telk is first, Mike is second. In this one, Mike is first and Telk is second. So I don't know. I don't know if that's good or bad, but that that's the info there. The one thing that I did notice was the Too Faced palette is, uh, it's nice and smooth, but the honestly, the I Heart palette is more... Uh, it's a little bit more creamy, uh, spongy. It has, it definitely is a little bit more crumbly. So uh, the best example would be the, let's see, the purple shade, this one here. And a few of them are like this, where you put your finger into it and it crumbles up. 
uh, onto your finger, whereas the Too Faced one doesn't do that. But as far as color payoff and all of that, they're pretty darn close. So I will uh, put in, I, I did a little um, uh, eye look on these two eyes. <laughs> this one is the Too Faced one. This is the uh, I Heart Makeup, uh, I Heart Chocolate Palette. And yeah, honestly, um, the way they turned out, I actually prefer the I Heart Chocolate. I kind of went a little bit nuts over here and then I had a really hard time blending out that one shadow in the Too Faced palette. So it's a little less blended. The other thing that's a huge factor for me is that the Milk Chocolate color is darker whereas uh, the light color in this palette this one here uh, is a way better shade for me. So it's just a little bit lighter. Those are some of the little differences that I noticed. We'll go ahead and I will show you how it works on the eyes. And I did a voiceover, so my first time trying a voiceover as well. So if it's a little weird, please forgive. And if you're liking this video, please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and give it a thumbs up and let's get started into the little thing. And then I'll give you my last thoughts and show you the swatches. So I start by going into Milk Chocolate, buffing that into my crease, and I use the color switch every single solitary time. Then from the I Heart palette, I use the One More piece, uh, buff that into my crease as well. Move on to this semi-sweet color in the uh, Chocolate Bar palette, uh, just buff that in a little bit lower, do the color switch, and go into Pleasure Girl uh, from... Uh, the I Heart Makeup Palette. Then I go into Triple Fudge, put that into my uh, outer corner, and then realize that I put it, uh, I use Triple Fudge on the other side too. So I screwed up. What do you do? So I grab the palette and put in Stolen Chocolate just over top of it. Uh, yeah. Then I buff things out on my lower lash line, just using the same colors. Get that all done. Uh, go in with that darkest color with the angle brush and then I go into champagne truffle on my lid Woo! It's so awesome. And then I go into endorphins ready from the I heart makeup palette on the other eye and Then I just uh, also put that in my inner corner Then I move on to the brow bone using white chocolate from the chocolate bar palette and uni love from I heart palette and it looks pretty close to the same thing. So in the end, um, yeah, I would say that the mattes in the I Heart palette actually perform better than the Too Faced Chocolate Bar, but the Too Faced Chocolate Bar shimmers are just a little bit more beautiful than the ones in this palette. For me, however, honestly, this palette wins. Price point, it's fantastic. It's so comparable in colors that, you know, I'm not, I wouldn't miss this one if, if I only had this one. They're so similar. Uh, blendability, amazing. Pigmentation, amazing. Price point, amazing. So really you can't go wrong with this one. I'm going to try uh, maybe a couple more of these to see how they compare to the Too Faced. Now with that being said, um, I still give this one major points for the creativity. Jared Blandino is an amazing creative director for Too Faced and they really know how to do it right. So uh, I love this. This is, like I said, a shameless dupe. Uh, however, uh, price, quality, everything, this one wins. So anyway, that's my thoughts. I feel, I feel like a traitor because I love Too Faced so much, but honestly, like you can't go wrong with this one. If you've tried it, tell me what you think. Uh, yeah, I am absolutely amazed. I will put the, uh, what's it called, swatches on my arms. Uh, I've marked which one is which, uh, and I've just done it in rows. Tell me what you think if you have this palette. Um, yeah, I, I really highly recommend this one. Like I said, never bought this one, uh, but I'm really glad I have this one, and I wouldn't buy this one because I have this one. So if you've got this one, it's amazing. You know, everyone loves this one, but I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. So that's it. Hope you have an amazing week, and we'll talk to you soon.